so I just got to talk to my mom who has Alzheimer's and it's really painful because she she doesn't know me which is okay because I don't know me <laughs> I'm just so sad but I'm happy sad I'm happy because she's in a safe place she's alive she was in hospice and she graduated I think it's because they took her off the meds that were killing her and I think the meds kind of gave her the Alzheimer's. So I don't understand. I think we're doing a lot to our elderly people. That's not good. But I got to talk to my mom before the holidays. And she got a little tree that I sent her. And um, I'm happy. I'm with Twilight. I got my PTSD dog. I live in a very nice studio in a very nice town in Arlington, Virginia. And there's a lot of evil people here, but there's some good people too. And the evil people are no longer acting evil. The CIA that was really involved with a lot of the stuff that was not healthy for America, they're retiring, they're cashing in their chips and they're moving on. Thank you, Jesus. Um, it's been a hard battle. And um, because you know what? Good conquers evil every time, except the good people have had to fight for years and years and years. And I've only been fighting for about six, seven years, and I've met people that have been fighting 20, 30 years. So I've met people that fought my family when I thought my family was doing what was right, and I found out my family wasn't. And I was go along to get along until I stepped away because my grandfather told me to get away. He told me um, before he died. He died because he wanted to die. He took chemo radiation for low-level prostate cancer in 1998. He said he did it because he didn't want to see an innocent man prosecuted for the Lockerbie bombing. And then um, he also told me to get away from these people that were part of the TWA cover-up. And he said, he said, just get away, get away. And this was in 1998. 96, 96, 90, it was the end of six, and I actually had to file bankruptcy because I wasn't getting paid my big, my big jobs with the, um, the CIA that were connected to some FBI. There was this little clique, and that little clique was connected to Buck Ravel. And when I stopped getting paid, I had to go bankrupt, and this was in 97. People want to know why I went bankrupt. That was it. I just wanted, I needed to start fresh, and then I married the person that I'm now divorced to, because he didn't want to live with somebody that was like me, just, I was an empty shell for many years, because I had to keep so many things quiet, but when I was outed, and my life was in danger in Tennessee, because of Carlos Scone from the back.